Hello everyone, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how we can create a simple login form using HTML and CSS. So let's get started. So here in the body, I'm going to mention a div. Then in this team, we're going to have a form. Let's say we have a form. In the form, let's mention another div. And for this team, we're going to have a level. Let's say level will be email. And for this level, we're going to have a input field. Let's say the input. Type will be email and that's the name equal to email. So after this, we are going to copy this. Okay, before copying this, uh, let me just mention a class here. Let's the class form will be input underscore teg. So right now, let me just copy this and I'm going to paste it two times. So this one will, will be for password and this one will be for the login button. So here we are going to say password and this will be password and here this will be the submit button so let me remove the level and the input type will be submit so here let's say name is password and for the submit button instead of name let's say care value value will be login if we now save it there you can see we have the email input field password input field and the login button so first of all let's can add some padding over here between each input field so for it uh, here you can see we already mentioned a class called input underscore teg so let's go inside the head section and here we're going to say style in the style we're going to mention the class this one input underscore teg so we're going to say here dot input underscore teg then to second bracket we are going to say here padding will be let's say 10 px if we save it there you can see there is now some padding over here so right now let's going to add a background color for the form so for it here you can see that we keep this form inside a div let's say here class let's say the class term will be form underscore deg then we'll go inside the style then we're going to say here form underscore teg then to second bracket let's say the background color will be sky blue you can pick different color if you want if you save it it will look like this so let's measure the width we don't want this background color to take the full width so we're going to say here we it will be let's say on now 60 percent save it and it will look like this so let's have this in the center for it we're going to say margin it will be auto that can see it is in the center let's just keep it over here so for it let's say here margin top it will be let's say 100 px save it and there you go so right now we're going to write out css for the input field so let's have the email and password at same position so for it, uh, here you can see the label is inside the class called input underscore deg. So I'm going to say here dot input underscore deg. Then we're going to measure our tag name which is level. Then we'll give to second bracket. Let's say the width for the level will be 100 ps. And we'll also say here display it will be inline plot. So we want to see the level and the input field at same line. Let's also add font size for the level. Let's say it will be 20 pixel. Let's make it a little bit bigger. There you can see. Okay, I think uh, 17 will be better. Okay, this is good. So right now, uh, after this div class form underscore dg, we are going to mention a h2 tag. Let's say here only login. If we now save it, there you can see it is over here. So let's have it in the center. So this h2 tag is inside the class called form underscore dg. So we are going to say here form underscore dg. Then we are going to mention the tag name which is h2. Then we will get to second bracket like this and let me just add a dot here because form underscore dg is a class. So here we are going to say the background color will be black and the color for the text will be white. If we now save it. Uh, it will look like this so let's have it in the center we're going to say here text align it will be center there you can see let's also add some padding here padding will be 10 gear and there you go so let's go and design the login button so here you can see this is the uh, basically submit button right so we are going to say here input then we'll give the third bracket and we'll say here type equal to it will be submit 
So right now we are going to write the stasis for the submit button. Let's say that for the submit button, the background color will be dark blue. Let's also say here the text color will be white. Let's add a little bit of pen in. Let's say five pens and let's also make the button round. So we are going to say here border radius. It will be let's say ten percent. If you now save it, it will look like this. So right now let's gonna make our input field responsive. For it, we are going to set here input, then we'll give to third bracket. We we'll say here type and we have two type of input field on his email and another on his password. So we are going to say here ebook type. Uh, this will be email. Then we'll give a comment here, we'll give to third bracket, we'll say here type. This time we we'll say here password. Then we are going to give to second bracket. Let's say that width for the input field will be total of 40%. Then you can see it got a little bit of smaller. If you want, we can say here 50%. Okay, I think this is good. After that, let's say here pending, it will be 10 pH. It got a little bit of bigger. Uh, instead of 10, let's say here 7. Then let's say here resize it will be vertical and let's say here box sizing it will need border holes. If we now save it, they can see there is a little bit of changes. And since we write this all uh, with padding vertical uh, resize vertical, so this will be responsive. Let me just show you. So this will look like this. And if you want uh, email and password to be in the center, what you can do is that for this form underscore DG, we can say here text align it will be center. Let's set this and then you can see it is in the center. So this is how you can have create a simple login form design using HTML and CSS. If you have any question or any suggestion, just let me know in the comment section. Make sure to subscribe and I hope to see you in the future tutorials.